eaters, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be how to lose weight, how to get healthier, my diet slash workout routine, because a lot of you guys have been asking about it because I've been posting about it a little bit on Instagram, doing some fitness progress updates, etc. And I just want to talk about my journey, what's worked for me personally. I know that everybody's body is different, and if you're like me and you're kind of lazy and you don't have all the time in the world or the knowledge on how to be fit perfectly and what all those different terms mean that I still don't quite understand percentage of fats, your BMI, all this stuff that honestly I think just over complicates it. For me personally, I like to make everything as simple as possible. That way it's very easy to follow and stay consistent. Consistency is key. And my weight has always fluctuated throughout my life. I would say a couple months ago was probably the biggest I've been in a long time. I've lost around 10 pounds in the past month and a half. And I really like where I'm at now. I just wasn't eating the healthiest. In college, it's really easy to do that because you basically try to eat whatever is cheapest and most convenient when you're trying to get a snack in between classes or you're just having a busy day and you're studying long hours so this is just my honest advice everything I'm going to be saying in this video has worked so so well for me and it's happened for me pretty freaking fast and the right way I am in no way starving my body I've gotten some comments on that on Instagram which I will touch on later in the video but before really diving into this I just want to give a huge shout out to skinny mint tea thank you so much for sponsoring this video I went ahead and tried out their tea It is a 28 day detox which means that you take a morning tea and then every other day you take a night tea which is like the night cleanse and it's only I think two calories is that what it is yeah two calories for tea bag which is crazy because when I start getting into calories and talking about food portions I will say that the hardest thing for me to cut out which took up the most calories was definitely Starbucks or Dutch Bros coffee in the morning because sometimes those drinks are like 400 500 calories with the whipped cream and everything added and this is literally two calories and the morning one has caffeine which is a freaking must so what I do when I wake up is I just go over to my Keurig I fill it with hot water and I put one of these bad boys in there let it sit for a couple of minutes and then drink it it leaves my body feeling super refreshed and it also kind of suppresses my appetite so I don't get super hungry in the mornings or throughout the day because in my opinion portion size is a huge factor when it comes to calorie restricting and eating the right things etc which again I will talk about later on in this video as human beings we tend to overeat a lot which enlarges our stomach when it's actually like pretty freaking small. By doing this, I'm able to eat normal portion sizes and just feel full throughout the day consistently. Kind of the same effect as when you drink a lot of water, which you should also be doing. So yeah, I love, love, love their tea. It just gets rid of a lot of the impurities in your body that we inhale in the air and in our foods that are really bad for us, etc. I think it's good to have something like this that cleanses us naturally. So I highly, highly recommend if you guys are looking for a substitute for coffee in the morning, which is a ton of calories, especially if you go the Starbucks route, or if you're just looking for something a little extra to help you along this weight loss fitness journey the link will be at the top of the description box below I am a person who needs my caffeine in the morning so this is what I do and afterwards I hit the gym if there's a day where I don't have school and when I do go I usually don't spend a ton of time there my workout routine is actually pretty simple but before I touch on that I just want to let you guys know that this is something I learned from my dad and it's that if you go to the gym on an empty stomach obviously if it's like later in the day I would hope that you would have eaten by then but when I wake up I go first thing normally and I eat breakfast after I go to the gym if you're starving if you feel like you need some sort of energy it's fine to have a little bite to eat but the reason why I eat afterwards is because my metabolism is going crazy and also because I learned that if you do that at the gym you burn fat instead of like burning the food that you just ate so once I started doing this I actually did notice a significant improvement in my body in the way that it looked like the outlining of my stomach which all include pictures on the screen you can see that I kind of have abs now and definite lines if you're like me and you need to see results physically that something is working for you even though this doesn't happen overnight that is the one thing that gave me really good confidence throughout doing everything that I did to get to the point that I'm at for the past like month and a half so definitely recommend recommend actually putting off breakfast until afterwards if you work out in the morning. When I go to the gym, I usually run on the treadmill for one to two miles. I normally will do the incline. I forget the name of it on the treadmill, but basically what it is is you set a certain speed for jogging and then a certain speed for running. And I do 3.7 and 6.7 and then my incline is two. And so when I get really, really tired after running for a while, I'll just jog and then I'll go back to running. I only do, like I said, a mile to two miles because I would rather do less working out consistently like every day or every other day whenever I have time versus just one really big workout once a week because I used to be like that. I would be really excessive with one workout, be at the gym for like three hours and then never work out again for the next like 
week or two so it's a lot better to do smaller workouts on the daily in my opinion also it's a lot more motivating to know that I can fit in a quick workout before heading to the store or going to class versus thinking that I have to map out an entire day to be at the gym for hours you know and afterwards I head over to the machines and the machines that I like to mainly focus on are the inner thighs and the butt machines the ones that make your booty look poppin honestly like TMI my butt has gotten so big since I started working out and just more toned and I never really was one to believe that working out made your butt bigger I thought you were just sort of born with the butt that you had and people just said that but it really does make a difference those are the two machines that I do the most often for sure you basically just like move your legs in and out and there's like weights attached to them sort of after that I'll go over to this one section of the gym that I go to I go to planet fitness which is 24 hours and I usually stretch there first and then do some ab workout planking for three to four minutes depending on how tired I am that day or I'll do a bunch of crunches and normally when I'm doing those I have to listen to music because I have my headphones in this entire time so I'll put a timer on my phone so that way I can track like 45 seconds of regular crunches and then to the side 45 seconds and then back up to the front 45 seconds and then to this side 45 seconds versus counting every crunch that I do while listening to music because I'll easily just lose count having it on my phone tracking the minutes like that is a lot easier I don't typically work out my arms too much because I'm not trying to get yoked but if that's something you want to do then go ahead and do that the Stairmaster is also pretty fun this is just the typical like fast workout if I'm just heading in there before class or something that is what I'll do it usually takes me 30 minutes if I just go really fast with everything that I'm doing or sometimes it could take me an hour because I might run back on the treadmill for another mile or two just depending on how motivated I feel that day and one tip when you are working out at the gym is that the longer you keep going the easier it gets so if you're on the treadmill and you feel like giving up push yourself and then you'll get to a place where you're really comfortable running at that speed for a while and you're not gonna want to stop that's something I've noticed in myself so that is what I do for working out I do it whenever I get the chance when it comes to weight loss I have noticed and I have heard and this is like proven it has a lot more to do with what you're putting in your body than it does working out so don't think that you can just eat terribly and then work out unless you're like a pro athlete and you're working out consistently all the freaking time that it's gonna cancel out all the calories that you consumed because it doesn't work that way unfortunately I wish it did so now we're gonna talk about eating and what you put in your body I've been using this app it's called my fitness pal this is not sponsored by them but I'm sure you guys have heard of this app and you can count your calories on there you can put your fitness goals how much weight you want to lose by what time or if you want to gain weight or if you just want to maintain your weight and I am in no way trying to lose any more weight at this point but the reason why I still use the app is to educate myself on what I'm putting in my body because you never know how many calories something might have especially because when you look at labels the portion sizes can be really tricky top ramen for example a portion size I don't know if this is on all the top ramen packages or whatever but the one that I bought the other day it said that it was X amount of calories and the serving size was half of the top ramen because they expect people to go in break it in half and then put it back in the pantry or something so you're actually getting those calories times two this is the case for a lot of foods and a lot of serving sizes on a lot of packages so you have to be more aware and sometimes you don't realize until you really take the time to go ahead and log it and with this app once you log something once you can easily just pull it back up because it's in your recents and I'm a person who tends to eat the same types of foods over and over so it's not that hard or time-consuming for me to just jot it in my app really quick and what I usually aim for is 1200 calories a day a little bit more than that I think it's like 1220 because when I first used the app I put that I wanted to lose two pounds a week because I wanted to get to where I'm at now and in my comment section on Instagram when I put that on my photo caption a lot of people were saying that was unhealthy that was anorexic that was me starving myself I still eat everything I want to eat it's literally just portion sizes and also making healthier choices for example the other day I had fruit for breakfast like a ton of fruit a really big fruit bowl and then for lunch I had fish tacos two huge fish tacos and for dinner I had a really big salad that was 1200 calories and I felt full the entire day versus if I were to just go to McDonald's and have a cheeseburger and a McChicken that would be more calories than my entire day and it would fill me up for what like a couple of hours so it really is about the choices that you make when eating and so it sort of becomes strategic when you think I have this many calories throughout my day how do I want to spread them out but in no way do I constantly stick to this I just feel like okay if I set the bar low and then I go over it's still gonna be like a healthy thing versus if I said okay I'm gonna eat 3,000 calories a day and then I went over then that's like pushing it a lot you know also if I work out and let's say I 
I burn 300 calories, I add that on top of my calories for the day. So that's 1500. And like I said, it's not that hard to do if you really make the right choices. But if you go over, no big deal because you're still on the way to success and weight loss, etc. Because that is setting yourself up to lose, I think, two pounds a week in the app. I don't really know how accurate that is, but I did lose weight very quickly. And I felt very healthy while I was doing it because I was working out and I was still eating plenty. I'm not telling you guys that this is what you should be eating for your calories. This is just what the app told me based on my weight and my height and my age and my gender and like all this other information because the app's really smart. But I do think it's really important to set that sort of goal for yourself and to be eating around in that calorie range, whatever you decide that range should be. So am I eating 1200 calories a day now? No. Was I doing that that whole entire time? No. That was just sort of what I was aiming for, but it was probably more like 1500 calories a day plus working out and probably eating more on top of that and just trying to make more conscious, healthier choices. Also, a really good tip would be to not eat before bed, at least not directly before bed. This is something that I could still be a lot better about just because I have a very crazy sleeping schedule. So if you eat right before you go to sleep, your body does not digest it properly. Therefore, a lot of the fat and calories and all that stuff just kind of stays in your stomach and chills out. I'm explaining this in very simple terms. I'm sure that a lot of fitness people are going to come for me in the comments, but that's the way that I understand it. Once I started implementing this in my daily routine, I've noticed that my stomach has gotten a lot smaller, not just physically, but like deep down. I don't feel hungry 24 seven. I feel full a lot easier. Also salads are your best friend. I eat a lot of salads now and they're a lot of fun because you can mix them up and dressing. For example, if you get low fat ranch or fat free ranch or organic ranch from Trader Joe's, it makes a big difference because I could not get rid of ranch out of my diet. I know it's really bad for you. If you make little choices like that when it comes to calories, it does add up and make a big difference. Like I said earlier with the tea, if you are drinking a lot of water, you are able to not feel hungry as often because sometimes we'll think that we're hungry, but really we're just sort of thirsty and the water does the trick for us. Have water beside your bed at all times. Constantly fill up your water bottle or have the plastic water bottles that you get at the store nearby and easily accessible because you'll just naturally drink a lot more of them. Also, if you eliminate a lot of carbs or at least reduce your carb intake, that will make a very big difference because I feel like carbs are what make you gain a lot of weight sometimes or don't help you really to lose weight. And carbs are basically anything white, like bread, pasta, etc. So if you are replacing those things with fruit and other healthy alternatives, that's going to go a long way as well. Treat your body like a temple, not a tent. You were put on this planet to live in this body. It's the only one you have, so take very good care of it. Another thing I have to add to this video would be that if you are weighing yourself on a regular basis, try not to. It is cool to mark your progress and everything like that, but I would say that the way you feel about yourself is a lot more important than the number on the scale because everyone's body is different and you can't necessarily compare a number to somebody else's because everyone's genetics and makeup are just a lot different and you might have more muscle than somebody else, etc. Also, when I first started doing this, I noticed that if I stepped on the scale and it was like 0.5 higher than the day before, I would get really down on myself and feel like what I was doing wasn't working and it doesn't happen overnight like that. That might just be because you had more water in your system than you did the day before or something very minor and that's why you can't weigh yourself super close together constantly if you do get like that. So try to give yourself some peace of mind and just look at the scale every once in a while or honestly maybe even not at all. It should be the way that you look at yourself in the mirror more so and the way that you feel confident in your own skin and that can be different for anybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helps someone out there to feel like it isn't as hard as you might have thought it was before this video to get healthier, to lose weight, to feel more fit and better about yourself because these are just some really basic and simple tips, things that I feel like anyone can do and have worked for me. Like I said, I've lost about 10 pounds in less than two months and I feel great. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, if it did help you, please give me a big thumbs up. Also comment below letting me know that it did help you because then I'll definitely make another video or if you have any specific questions, please leave them below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Do not forget to check out Skinny Mint. They will be linked in the description box. Highly recommend it. It tastes really good, especially if you're trying to wean yourself off of coffee. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. Tap it twice if you want all my notifs because that would be lit. Also, I have social medias on the screen if you guys want to check those out and a Patreon where I actually have been tracking my fitness on there as well with pictures and stuff like that that are exclusive. You can't get anywhere else. I will link that in the description box as well and I will see you in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.